69% of Americans at the moment now believe that the US economy is doing well. 60%. That is up 20 from 20 points from election day. Now, those are the numbers. Now, you can weigh in on what you think. CNN.com slash join. Uh, that's, uh, I'm just getting myself ready to vote, well, one way or the other, at least see the results. CNN.com slash join. It's where you and I get a chance to dialogue in a different way. First time on international television. Do you think President Trump is getting enough credit for the economy? Is this his economy? Is it Obama's economy? Is it both man's economy? So, Donald Trump's credit, not enough, about right, too much. Uh, you can see these results coming in. They are, by the way, if you are voting at the moment, you're seeing the results in real time. Absolutely, in real time. So you, there you go. More of you have just decided to, to jump in on the bandwagon. We'll show you and we'll talk about this in a moment and we'll put the results to President Trump's former economic advisors in just a moment. 70% of you do believe he's getting too much credit. The president is very much on the ballot in the midterms, even if his name isn't actually printed there. Congressional candidates are either choosing to embrace the president and his agenda or they're vowing to reject it at every turn. CNN's Martin Savage has been speaking to Donald Trump supporters to find out how their views on the president has changed. The poll has closed and the results are in. Um, if you look at the match over here, too much. The, the voting Donald Trump's credit for the US economy, how much should he get? You say too much by 74%. And look at the rest, way, way back with not enough. We'll have another one, uh, another question which you'll want to join in on in just a moment, getting your views after the break.